Well, James Madison, one of our most prominent founding fathers, believed that the rights, specifically the property rights of the minority, should always be protected against vicious majority. How would you protect the 1% against a prejudiced population? <laughs> I'll let our pre presidential candidates take this question first. How would you protect the 1%, and by that, sir, do you mean the top 1% of income? How would you protect the people making the top 1% in our country from vilification by others? Mr. Boulevard. Mr. Corcoran, I'm glad. <laughs> All right, thank you for asking that question, Mr. Corcoran. I believe strongly in equal rights for everyone, whether they be the poorest of the poor or the richest of the rich. We're a country unified by our love for America. So if you're saying how I protect the 1%, my answer is simple. I'll protect them just like I protect anyone else. Uh, their rights are no different from mine or Governor Lee's or Senator Miller's. Thank you very much. Senator Miller? Surprisingly enough, I'm going to have to agree with uh, Mr. Boobin on this one. Um, the only thing I can truly offer the 1% is a uh, tax decrease on environmentally safe waste removal. Um, besides that, we need to treat everyone equally. And that being said, it's not that way right now. And I guarantee that it will be if I'm elected as president. Thank you. And Governor Lee. Uh, yes, I think we're all in a similar agreement here. Uh, if you're an American citizen here, uh, you're going to get treated the same by the government. Um, and in terms of taxes, uh, which I know is a, a big deal for the one, top 1%, one um, I want an equal across the board tax rate. That seems equal to me, uh, that seems fair to everybody, and that's the, uh, the kind of uh, tax I would institute as President of the United States. Just to clarify, Governor Lee, Right now, our tax system is a progressive tax system in which the wealthy have a base tax rate that is higher than the poor. Although there are many deductions, which allows for, in the end, a tax rate that's very similar. Are you asking for a flat tax that applies the same to everyone? I'm saying that the resultant tax rate, including the deductions, including the loopholes, uh, the resultant tax rate will be equal for, for all American citizens. Thank you. Just wanted a clarification, which I'll do occasionally throughout the day. Um, I think what I'll do is take a question directed to our Senate candidates, unless our Senate candidate would like to reply to the 1% question. It looks like they would. All right. Well, I don't think the 1% need protection at all. Um, a elite-controlled media already, you know, can influence politics enough as it is. They don't need to be protected more than they already are. Their money is their protection, and they have far too much influence in government. Mr. Pop? Now, it sounds like to me that you're just willing to discriminate against those who are in the top. Now, we do have a progressive tax code, which the rich do pay more than the poor. And these, many of these deductions are deductions which are a good cause. There's charitable deductions, there's deductions for sending your kid to college, and so many of these are go to good causes. Now, if you elect me to the Senate, many of my bills will apply to all Americans, regardless of how rich or poor they are. Many of my ways of reducing the national debt affect each other. You've got to cut your short, Mr. Pye. And you got me call. Thank you. Um, I believe that what President Barack Obama said in his State of the Union address about America needing to mimic its military and its sense of togetherness applies very well to how we should do our taxes. I think that across the board, everyone should have taxes that are equal, not taxes that everyone pays a certain dollar amount, but that everyone pays a certain percentage. It's what makes sense, it will help the poor, it will help the rich, and no one will be discriminated against. Thank you. Um, 